Mr. Chairman, Mr. Secretary General of the ITU, heads of delegations, distinguished delegates, your excellencies, I would like to thank the government of the United Arab Emirates for hosting this prestigious event and for the hospitality extended to me and my delegation. It's indeed an honor and a privilege for me on behalf of the people and government of the Republic of Namibia to address you this morning. To date, Namibia has developed a compendium of laws and policies aimed at promoting ICT development, adoption, and use. An independent regulatory authority has been established to oversee the implementation of these policies and laws. The Namibian ICT sector has been liberalized and accommodates various players. Your Excellencies, as a country, Namibia is committed to Connect 2020 agenda and has made great strides in ICT infrastructure development. Our commitment is underpinned by four goals. The first one being that Namibia is committed to foster connectivity and its ICT targets for 2020 as entrenched in our national development plans. Having reached 73% of broadband coverage, we intend to reach 80% of the population of Namibia by 2020. And the 100% broadband connectivity and usage by all public sector agencies in Namibia to allow for e-governance by 2020. We are committed to bridge the digital divide by reducing rural and urban, gender, and rich and poor disparities. This is embedded in the broadband for all principle. Namibia's 100% coverage project is aimed to stimulate infrastructure development to provide internet, mobile, and digital television services to all Namibians. Namibia prioritized universal service and access and the provision, the three pillars of accessibility, affordability, and quality of services are imperative to support universal ICT services. The provision of ICT services comes with challenges of cyber security and increased e-west. We are in the process of finalizing a responsive legal framework so as to address cyber security concerns, thereby ensuring safe online services and e-west management. This will ultimately minimize the impact of e-waste both on the environment and also on human health. The ICT sector, Your Excellencies, is evolving and requires innovation to unlock the opportunities for socioeconomic development. We are focused on youth innovation to shape the future and nature entrepreneurship through the use of ICT. Mr. Chairman, allow me to thank ITU for the continued support in the area of ICT development through their assistance to Namibia in the process of reviewing our ICT policies and legislation. This process will allow Namibia to make even more progress in the ICT sector and attain the set goals. I wish you all the success in this important deliberation. Shukran Jazilan.